Hi there. So uh, we're going to do a first impressions video of Mimi Ongdeg. I think I'm, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, a lot of times the double double I would be an a low sound, a, a long E sound and double A as well. Um, this is by Barbara Asignok. Uh, so, Canadian composer, indigenous composer. Uh, and you can see that in her uh, descriptions. She's got wonderful descriptions in the piece. Uh, so, at the beginning, it's the, the cr that crow hops around. So, uh, and then the crow hops and jumps from side to side. So, let me just try running through it. Uh, I was hoping to get this ready at tempo, but <laughs> the, the articulation changes, you'll see. So yeah, first impressions, that's what you get today. So here we go, we got, so it's down here at the, at the lowest end of the piano. Okay, down here at the end, so we got, that crow hops around. from side to side. Oh, and then it's up here. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Over there, he jumps across the corn and pumpkins. So. And back down here. Oh, it's up here. Heading towards us again. I might have added an extra note there, but we'll see. Interesting piece. Uh, so lots of challenges here. I think the students are going to have a blast with this piece, though, if they can just overcome the hurdle of, like, it's, it's kind of tricky. It is kind of tricky. And granted, I recently woke up from a nap, so that makes it doubly tricky. <laughs> uh, anyhow, yeah, I mean, students are going to be, like, down here and then up here. So that's going to be one challenge, the register changes. Then you've got the like accent and dynamic changes because we go from mezzo forte to just soft right away. And that, that's got to be totally rock solid there. Uh, I, I like how Barbara's got them at least starting with, you know, you got that A, the low A solid, and then we're adding, the we're just building the chord. And then reducing the chord again. Uh, Rhythm, rhythm, the right hand rhythm. So I'd recommend to students to just like one, <laughs> bar three, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and really clap it, and then even tap. So one, and two, three, and four, and it really has a, a very percussive feel to it. Yeah, I mean, the dynamic shifts are pretty it's all over there. Every single bar is uh, very articulate, lots of detail. So this is really going to challenge students. Uh, how good are they with detail? Lots of detail. Uh, it would be fantastic to actually hear uh, and, and, and learn, because she's got the lyrics there, the translation, and she, she's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to butcher it, uh, but... I'll have to see if I can track down uh, a recording, a resuscitation. 
or recitation, recitation uh, of the the poem of uh, of the the song piece. Uh, but very rich in imagery with with these descriptions. So uh, I definitely would challenge any of my artistic students to to come up with a story, to come up with um, some artwork to go with this, uh, or even develop a movie. I mean, I just recently judged the uh, the Alberta Music Education Foundation, AMF, or Endowment Fund. Sorry, I used to know what these <laughs> all these are for, but okay. So yeah, I recently judged uh, for the student video competition. So. This would be a great piece, students, uh, to to enter in next year's because you could you could totally go to town with this. You could, well, even just a regular performance. You could dress all in black like a crow. You could like maybe I don't know, like if you could get a little feather tail or like feather earrings. You could. I, like I said, come up with a story with it. Learn learn the lyrics and sing, uh, I mean, you could film a crow and incorporate that into your performance. So yeah, throw in some ideas there for, for anyone who's so inclined, feel free to take it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a fun piece. I hope some of my students next year will, will decide to take a chance on this because there's, there's a lot that can be explored with this timing and rhythm and, and just I mean, it's an interesting piece it's a little bit different from those gavots and minuets and, uh, and I think we're all the better for that to have to explore the different styles of music all right so if you enjoyed my you know first impressions of crow dances or Mimi on deck uh, like comment share and if you've worked on this piece here share some of your thoughts down below uh, what did you find was challenging? What did you like about this piece? What didn't you like? And if you'd like to find out when there's new content added, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell around there. And if you'd like to send us a little bit more support, head over to our Kofi page. We are actually saving up for some new equipment, so any help with that is greatly appreciated. That's it for now, so take care and catch you in the next video. Bye!